Hey guys, this is Santon again back with another video and today I have with me the Lativi One S and I'm gonna make a gaming review of this Lativi One S. So I'll play these six games like the uh, Subway Surfer, Temple and True, Traffic Rider, uh, Asphalt 8, um, NFS No Limit and Unkilled. So let me first start up with the uh, Temple Run 2 for the first time and uh, the phone is now loading the Temple Run 2 and as it's the first time so it will uh, take a little time to download the data so let's see how much it take so it's finished downloading and just it's now loading let me turn on the volume high and the screen quality guys it's super super smooth I have set it to the vivid color so it will make uh, just like AMOLED impression though it's not a pure AMOLED screen it's a IPS grade screen but look at this the bezels are very narrow so it looks just amazing it looks it's like a floating display and the quality of the display is just amazing I have to say so let's play and the speaker quality is also decent this part is the speaker this is not the speaker this one is the only mic so let's see I have to concentrate on this game just just watch the gameplay please guys uh, if I talk I can't play and currently this phone is on the balanced mode that is the smart power saving mode uh, because it will save the power or make the battery back up a little better so I put it on that mode but for the uh, let me just turn off the battery saver because it will it, it is making the phone a little laggy uh, let's go to the and off the battery assistant uh, it's now on I off the battery assistant and smart power saving super power saving and now off go to the resume with the game why but the game is a little lagging it may be because some of uh, some of the apps big large apps are downloading on the background so I think I should uh, so I'll stop background app so that I can play it better though the processor is very powerful it is 2.2 gigahertz helio extend processor with power VR GPU and uh, it has 3 GB of RAM so it, it should run any game you threw out of it so let's see so Temple Run 2 is running pretty smooth on this phone there is no lag screen quality is amazing speaker is also decent so let me get rid of this game and let me try the, another game that is Subway Surfer and look at these colors guys the colors look just amazing maybe my camera is not uh, judging it well but uh, in the naked eye it looks just amazing just looks like a Galaxy S6 screen So there is no lag guys, game is running just like butter and the touch sensitivity is just awesome because you can touch very smoothly and very soft. So let me kill all the uh, apps in the background, let me kill all. And, and now let's try this traffic rider uh, this is also a new game by Sonarkara and uh, I'm also playing this game in this phone for the first time but I have played this game on my own phone uh, and it's a really good game let's see though it's uh, not very large it's around 150 MB of size <clears throat> I'm sorry for my throat guys because I'm sick 
so pardon me for that so let's play So as you can see the frame rates are very smooth, it's around 60 frames per second, no lag, smooth gameplay and no frame drops. The sensors are also working good, I'm tilting the sensor, the gyroscope sensor is working good. As you can see the game ends. Let me get rid of this game and play another game called Unkilled which is uh, third person or first person shooter game and it's uh, made by the Mad Fingers developers who make also the Dead Trigger and Dead Trigger 2 very famous game but this one is just like the Dead Trigger 2 but a little less graphics on this and the game size is also a little less than Dead Trigger 2 but the game play the <clears throat> the codes are actually same let's see And the loading time is a little, uh, I would say, great, greater than normal uh, Qualcomm processor because MediaTek processor generally take a little more time to load the game. But after loading the game, the gameplay is smooth because of the super powerful Helio Extend processor in this phone. And guys, if you are planning to uh, buy this phone, just buy it because it's a really good value for money. Uh, really great build quality, really good uh, screen quality and good camera, the camera exposure is also nice and that's just a good game. So let's see. So look around, okay, move it and let's split again. And also the uh, phone is not heating up guys, it's perfectly cool, no extra overheating issue I'm finding right now. I think it's the mission is complete. Let's play the next level because I'm really enjoying this game. As you can see the game is loading right now. Uh, as if now I am feeling a little warm in my hand on the back side. Uh, just near around the fingerprint sensors. A little warm but not so hot I would say. It's kind of I would say under 35 degrees. So it's quite normal for these time games. Wow. Okay, rocket launcher is also there. Good, good. Welcome to hell.
look at the game graphics guys it looks amazing so let me get rid of this game as well let me play the NFS no limits or need for speed no limits and it, this is also uh, this is actually a racing game very high-end racing game uh, it's just like the NFS on your PC but it's mobile version And guys, uh, please uh, support me here in this channel as well as in my Facebook page uh, because if I get subscriber, I will make a, more and more videos for you. So just share the channel among your friends and tell them to subscribe if you like my efforts. So why I'm going to garage? I'm not going to garage. I'm just going to play it. Chapter 1. Car select. Okay. Select it. Let's rest. Oh, it's just uh, restarted the game. I don't know why. Let's see. Try again. I haven't played this one yet in this phone. I don't know why. What is happening? If the second time also the game crashes, I will not play this NFS. And I have to commit that NFS cannot be run in this Helio Extend processor. But let's see what happens. The back side is just a little warm, nothing crazy, a little warm. Ground. Easy race. Okay, it's just crashing, so I will not play NFS. And I think NFS cannot be run with this uh, Helio Extend processor. So I'll play the Asphalt 8 right now. And guys, you have to understand that uh, just uh, MediaTek processors are not meant to be uh, for all games because not all games are playable or supported by the MediaTek processors but if you use Qualcomm processor it will support most of the game so let's play this level Nevada level as of now and I, uh, this one is set to the medium graphics I have also tried with the high graphics setting but in high graphics setting the game is lagging a lot so I have just removed the high graphics setting and put it to the midden graphics settings which was the uh, default settings by uh, default so let's play the colors guys the color colors are looking amazing screen quality is even better than my one plus one plus one So I will end this game uh, here guys because I am playing these games for over 20 minutes and I think that's enough because the Asphalt 8 running is just like smooth butter, there is no lag if you want to play Asphalt 8 at smooth graphic settings, use the uh, medium graphic settings and especially in the night mode like in the Tokyo night mode in night time the uh, high graphic setting lags a lot. So that's all in this uh, gaming review video guys if you have any questions queries please do let me know for the comment in the comment section as always and i'll uh, answer some of them obviously and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll hope to see you in my next video peace